I'm Rachel Nye, Principal of Kansas City Ballet School. Uh, I'm here today to give you a class that you can do in your home. This class is geared toward students approximately age 9 to 12, um, but as you're taking the class you may find that some things are a little bit too challenging or difficult, so please feel free to modify. All of these elements can be done with demi point at the bar, without demi point at the bar. You could probably make some of the things happen with two hands on the bar if you'd like, or you can uh, do half of the exercise. A uh, couple of things I want you to keep in mind as you're working at home is uh, your pelvis placement and your spinal alignment as you're taking the class. So some things to think about that you'll hear me say as we're taking the class. Rib placement is really important. If your ribs are not uh, properly placed, it's very hard to engage your abdominals. So make sure that your ribs are uh, connected with your hips, belly button drawing towards your spine. You want to keep those hip bones really lifted in the front and rotate those upper thighs as much as we can. You'll hear me talk about engaging your back muscles, shoulder blades or armpit muscles. We wanna make sure that we're supporting our arms with our back so that we feel these muscles down here at all times. Nice long neck with easy trap muscles. Um, another thing is fully articulating your feet, making sure that as you're working through all of your uh, execution, that you're working through your highest three quarter point and really using your feet for resistance. Speaking of resistance, we want to accomplish the entire bar with resistance in our body. So the exercises are pretty slow. And that is so that you have time to think about these alignment things as well as using resistance in all elements. That means feeling your turnout, a pose as you're doing Ronda Jam. That means um, pressing against the floor in all tendus, making sure your heels are really pushing down in your plies. So take your time. Think through your alignment and all of the things your teachers have worked on with you this year. Okay, let's start with a plie. So we're going to put our left hand on the bar, starting in first position. Preparation, seven and eight. Demi plie, we're going to use our upper spine and look under the thumb and stretch and round and over the upper spine. Follow the hand, over the hand, grand plie, heels into the floor. And here's a moment where really push into the ground. Up to go forward, carrying the arm through your first and all the way back and press through your feet to second. Same thing in second position, demi plie, using the full movement of your upper spine, keep your ribs back, grand plie there. We're gonna go from the waistline to the side and up and away from the bar, outside arm to second today so we don't lose our shoulders. And then fourth position, same thing, demi and demi and one grand plie, Arms through first, inside arm there. Round arms. We're gonna lift to the back arm, shoulder blades down, reach through to the front hand, and then push from the toes to fifth. Same thing in fifth, two demi plies and one grand plie. We're gonna go forward like we did, arm to first, and then circle the rest of the way, all the way around. Plie there, suchinu to the other side, down through the straight legs, and reach to tendu. We're gonna go right away to the left side, the same thing. Okay, great, let's try it. Make sure your pinky toes stay on the floor in first, arches lifted. Keep drawing your belly button to your spine. Outside shoulder open. Lift up before you go forward, lifting up out of your legs, shoulders away from your ears, and stretch your knees down into the floor. Abdominals bring you up and press through your feet. Really use your plie to warm up your turnout muscles. Think about your rib placement and hip placement, following the hand with the eyes. Easy shoulder at the bar. Lifting up and over from the waist, shoulders down. Nice strong legs into the floor. Press through the foot to fourth. Inside knee over the toes. Think about your weight placement in fourth. Easy bar side. Ribs all the way back. Outside shoulder down, 
again, nice stretched legs, hip bones up in the front, round and follow the back arm, shoulder blades down and push from the front toes, toes all the way to fifth. Deep plie each time, heels pressing into the floor, feel resistance in your plie. Head over the pinky finger, inner thighs as you stretch, lift way up. Arms to first, nose to the bar, and reach from your waist all the way around. Sutanu, tondu to first, press. On the second side, really think about your placement. Hip bones up in the front. Feel your rotation muscles. Abdominals bring you up. Coordinate the upper spine from the shoulder blades and higher Keep the ribs in and down. Heels pressing into the floor. Stretch the legs up to the side. Follow the hand with the arms. Push from the toes, cross your fourth. Deep plie, knees over toes. Lots of extension in the upper spine. Each time, find your demi-plie. And first, inside arm reach. Round, lift from the chest. Down and to the front arm. Toes, push. Lift up your hip bones in front. Resistance in your plie each time. Follow the arm. Easy bar side, easy bar arm. Use your muscles to come up from grand plie. And lift. Arm through first, nose to the bar. Stretch your legs down and big circle from the waist. We're going to do this tendu in accent out and also accent in. So we're going to do slowly on the right side, slowly on the left side. Really feel your rotation and feel your foot articulation. And then immediately to the right and left, a little bit faster with accent in. If this combination seems really long, work up to it and do half of it and do the rest next time. Okay, here we go. So preparation seven and eight to the front, nice and slow. Front and fifth and front and fifth passing through your first close front and out to close back inside leg and close inside leg and close include your whole upper body plie push from the back toes and fifth same thing to the back we have two don't change to the side and change inside leg two and plie and transfer your weight and push close out to first out to first little breath forward and up in your back out to first out to first out to first and down through the legs the first time through we're going to wrap on flat you're going to work to your rise push to your rise lift up to fifth and turn around same thing over here and then we'll come back and do accent in and fifth and fifth and side and side and it'll feel a little bit faster same thing there this time we're going to take retro balance start to the left okay all right here we go Preparation. Press through your toes. Fifth. To the side, down through your first. Inside leg, right in front of you. Heel to the ceiling. Stretch up 
Press your plie and push close. Keep your bar side down and back, hip bones up in front. Feel the three quarter point of your toes as you push to tendu. Try not to slam your fifth, close the tops of the thighs. Nice and tall on the standing side, feel the legs rotated and lifted. Upper spine up to plie, back. Inner thighs as you close first. Be sure your inside elbow at the bar is relaxed. Wrap the foot, feel both legs rotating all the way. Hip bones up in front. Nice long neck, ribs back. Press down into the floor. Control your releve. Lift, sutanu, left. Reach, fifth. Feel long on both legs. Push the floor. Make sure your back muscles are engaged. Check that standing foot. Make sure your pinky toes are on the floor and your arches are lifted. Upper spine ready to go up, plie, back. Articulate your foot, coordinate up to the front, shape your foot and ankle, rotate both legs in opposition, try to keep your arms energetic, press, lift up, sutanu, straight legs down. Accent in, cross and cross, inside leg. Now that it's faster, try to use the same execution when it was slow. No slamming, energetic fifth positions. Try not to drop or rest in your fifth. position. Lift even taller to turn to the left. Try to use the resistance of the floor as you close so your muscles work. No slamming. Bar side easy and down. Long through the back of the neck. releve, pull up on your standing knee, lift, and finish. Okay, good. Let's move on to degage. Degage is also going to be a long combination, so we're going to do the exercise slow to the right and the left, and then immediately come back and do it a little bit faster. Okay, good position. Here we go. To the front. And fifth, and two, pique. Up, up, rise, and up, up, close front, and close front, and close back. Same thing to the back. One and two, pique. Up, up, up. Make sure that supporting leg stays turned out and close. Now we're going to use the arm. And front, and plie, brush in plie, brush close to the front. One to plie, heels down through your first, coordinate your arm, and back, and plie, plie, up, 
close, then only three and turn to the other side. One and two and three to turn around. Other side. And fifth and fifth, PK up, up, rise, up, up, fifth. Don't change, change. Same thing back, up, up, rise, up, up, back. Don't change, arms. One, plie, plie, stretch. One, plie, plie, stretch. Same thing back. And then three and turn around. And again, right away, we're going to start it just a little faster on the right and left. Okay. standing foot. Almost there. One, two, three. Up, change. Toes all the way back in fifth. Highest demi point. Sharp, fifth. Easy bar side. feet, brush, first, last three, and nice sutanu, brush on straight legs, okay, let's move on to Rana Jam. Uh, we're going to do uh, the right side of Rond de Jambe, and I have added a stretch exercise at the end of my Rond de Jambe um, that we will show, and you can follow along with that as well. So let's do the Rond de Jambe combination first. I like to start in first. If you want to start from fifth, that's fine too. Preparation and seven and eight. Around slowly in two counts. One, around two. Pulling up and lifting up each time as you run. Try not to throw it. Use your muscles. Three and four. Now we have three quickly. One and two and upper spine and hold and show that upper back extension ribs and pulling up on your legs. And again, one and two and hold. Run, jambe to allonge. Rise, 45, two counts. Side, two counts. To the back, two counts, lower your heel, and rise high legs, one and two, through your retro, three and four, and all the way to the back, tendu and brush front. Same thing to the back, four slowly, three quick, and three quick, and 45, rise all the way around, and high legs with releve through. 
Again, if you want to do lower legs or on, de on flat instead of demi point, totally good. Then we close fifth. We're going to passe, take the heel in attitude. We stretch our bottom leg nice and stretched. We're going to pour to bra back. Now you can change your grip and plie front and side. Let go, the arm stays in second. We're going to change our grip and stretch even more. Inside leg plie and stretch. Then we're going to take the back leg to your turning attitude. That means ribs and abdominals and hopefully 90 degrees legs. Join the inside arm, promenade, around, 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 around. Heel forward, take the bar, pour the bra back and the leg will push you down into your ponche stretch. Back comes up, turn towards your leg and stretch in the floor. Bones tall, ribs back and side. Slowly get taller as you run. All the way rotated through both legs. One, two, and upper spine. And one, two, breath in the upper spine. Ah, lunge, toes. Heel to the ceiling, shape your demi point through a carte, easy bar side lift, and up. Knee back, standing ribs tall, shape, 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 back leg and brush. Check that standing side again, make sure both legs are rotating. Down through first every time, hold, big toes lead through first, back and hold, and two together, and heel up, up, and lift through the standing leg, and reach to tendu, brush, hold, square hips, pull up your abdominals, Nice and tall through that lower back, reach. Stretch to attitude front, standing knee straight, right shoulder back, pour to bra back, take your leg with you, change your grip, plie front, carry side and hold. Reach that arm to second, standing ribs tall, standing knee stretched, plie, change your grip. If this isn't working, you can change your grip in another way or just hold the heel in hand. Arm up. And inside leg. Shoulders down. You want to stretch like you'll stand with your back muscles engaged. Back leg. This is your turning attitude shape. We want to keep our abdominals engaged. Tall, tall, tall on that standing side with left ribs on top. Standing heel leads all the way to a turned out position. And left shoulder blade all the way back. Leg leads you to stretch. Gather and turn. Stretching on the floor. Take a second to stretch. Gather yourself up nicely and we'll make our way to the left side. Relax that bar side, bar shoulder, hip bones up in front, belly to the spine, abdominals engaged. Be sure to hold your arm in second energetically from your back. Try not to forget about it. One. J. 
crochet brush toes. Think of both legs rotating in opposition and through a carte, nice and tall, right ribs on top, and heel to the ceiling. Make sure that upper thigh is working through rotated positions throughout, and brush reverse. Make sure your pinky toes are on the floor in both the supporting leg and the working leg. Hold. Hold, coordinate everything, brush. And up, up, up on that right hip, up on your releve, up through your knees. Right behind you, toes behind your spine. Upper thigh moves through rotated positions. And close. Passe attitude. Left shoulder should stay down and back. Port de bras and change your grip. Stretch your standing knee. down through the floor and down through your pinky toes, lift to allonge, inside leg, work on stretching that bottom knee, and up, one, nice rotated elbows, shoulders are down, we're working for a beautifully placed 90 degrees attitude, all the way around, right shoulder to the leg, and the leg pushes your body down. And turn, stretching on the floor. And again, if you need to modify any part of that stretch exercise, do what you can. Standing up nicely. Okay, so we're gonna do a fondue exercise. Um, again, this can have uh, multiple parts to it if you'd like. The first time through, we're gonna do everything at 45 degrees in the coup de pied position. And then right away, right and left, we can go fondue through développé into the retro position. Uh, I like this exercise for the coordination of reaching out in your plie and bringing your leg in really fast. This helps for combinations of turns that you'll learn later on and creates really good muscle memory for that. So starting into position seven and eight, we have one fondue to 45 front, straight leg press, reach your heel, plie away, and very quick, using your hamstring up, and let go, take the bar. Place your heel down before you bend your knee. That's really important for landing later. Side, and rise, and reach as you lower, plie, same thing, could be fast, let go, take the bar. Lift as you lower your heel, same thing to the back, rise and lower, reach away, could be up and down, we're gonna rise, retro one more time, our turning attitude, trying to stay really nice and tall through our front of our hip and 90 in the back. And we're gonna reach to plie à l'engé and pick up your pas de bray, suture to the other side. Same thing to the left, 45 up, plie coup de pied. Same thing side, turning attitude, plie and around. Now, this is optional, but if you'd like to stay, uh, keep going, you can then go through the passe to 90 and plie, retro. From this one, our turning attitude here, we're gonna lift to first arabesque plie, hopefully without the bar, and pick up, turn around to the other side. Okay, good, let's try it. Shape the toes. 
press, heel down, reach away, up. Heel down first, be sure to articulate the lower from releve into plie, reach the working toes away, and deep plie, back, press down, bar side down, reach up, up in the hips, and toes, beautiful 90 shape, press through that standing leg, keep reaching, up and left, down, press, reach your working leg away, reach, knee back, try to make sure your hamstring muscle is engaged when you bring that leg into coup de pied, plie, hamstring, heel down, push, Toes right behind you, bar side down and back. Reach, hips up. Engage that standing leg. Make sure those right ribs stay on top. Alenje, up. Repeat with 90. Down, passe out. Press, lift higher. Reach, hamstring. And push. Up, out, bar side, down, and toes. Try to arrive at your position clearly. And hips up. Shape. Lift up, first arabesque, and toes, toes, turn down. Heel down first, then press. Check your balance. Heel down, plie. Up, out. Really keep those hips nice and square and level. Abdominal muscles working. Shaping those arms from your back. Stretch your knee in the back. Hips up. Right ribs on top, standing knee tall, square hips and shoulders, and turn. Okay, let's go on to frappe. Uh, there's lots of different ways to do frappe. You can try it like this today. Um, I like to work the frappe through the three-quarter point. So you're gonna keep your ankle pointed and strike the floor through the toes when you're on flat. Uh, I find that um, isolating your metatarsals comes in really handy with point work, softening and controlling landings, walking and running. Okay, preparation six and seven, Tommy to the side. One slow, front, stay, stay, and two of them, and side, and hold, and two of them, then back, stay, stay, and two of them, and a double, reach, reach, and a double, rise to the back, and two of them to the side. This is on rise or flat, it's up to you. And a double, and a double. Put your heel down. Now we're gonna do petit bama. And in, stay, stay, and in, stay, stay. Then one, and two, and three, stay, stay. Wrap and back, wrap and back. And one, and two, and three, stay, stay. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, let's change to the inside leg, coup de pied up, and find your balance and hold. And fifth, straight legs down. Okay, good. Ready? 
for the left side, ribs back, reach, knee back. Try to keep that upper thigh involved in your frappe, turned out, back, hips tall, and out, high releve. Take some attention to that standing leg, make sure it's rotated and on your highest, most shaped demi point. Knee back, knee back. Nice and sharp. And in, hamstring. One, two, three. Sharp, sharp. Stabilize the rest of your body. Check your back muscles, check your abdominal muscles. through both legs, nice and stretched knees, back muscles engaged. Knee side right away. Deep plie, stretch your knee, then rise. Heel way up to the hamstring. Nice, tall through the lower back. Reach to fifth. Toes. As you're working through your positions, think about your standing side, your standing knee, the ribs right on top of your body. Trace the leg up. Make sure that right hip stays down. Lower. Foot one. Move the upper thigh through turned out positions. Deep plie, toes right behind you. Up through the hips, even higher. Lower the heel and breath. Toes push you. Make sure those legs rise. 
right behind you. Okay, good, we're almost there. One more exercise at the bar. Ground up, on. seven and eight. Make sure that upper spine stays nice and tall to the front. Front and fifth, and one to tendu, and one to fifth, and then to the side. Same thing, back to fifth, and back to tendu, and brush to fifth, and one to the side. To the side, we have ground up, my side, and fifth, and one tendu, Grab up my side and fifth and tendu. We're gonna pass through first, turn out that standing leg and face the bar. Then we have grab up my back facing the bar. PK grab up my, grab up my, grab up my. Rise, assemble, turn to the left. Front and fifth, front and tendu, front and fifth, one side. Back and fifth, back and tendu, one fifth, one side. Grab up my side, tendu down. One to the side, tendu, face the bar, and brush back, PK up, PK up, PK up, PK rise, and we're done. Okay, really fast before we go on to Grambatma, a couple of things. We wanna make sure that the force for your Grambatma is coming from the push of the metatarsals. So we wanna feel the toes immediately push you into the air. Another thing that's really important is to, again, stay very engaged on that standing side. Make sure that your armpit muscles, your abdominals are really held and that your standing knee is pressed. We're not rolling in our arches. Uh, cushion the down of your grambatma through the three-quarter point of your working leg. When we take our grambatma to the back, be sure that you're leading with the height of the leg and not reaching forward with your ribs first, okay? So we're gonna stay really nice and placed and use momentum in our legs. Strong upper back, brush. Right away with degage a little bit faster. OK, 
Okay, same thing. One, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. Front, back, front, back, plie. And this time you can take those arms up. Same thing, left side. Okay. Repeat again with the shape a little bit faster. Here we go. And brush. Hold. Close. Reach. Change. Back. Nice and long through the toes. Get there. And first. Really feel your balance on your standing leg. Try not to rest in fifth, but keep lifting tall. Change. Brushing the floor with your metatarsals. Toes. that's it for today. Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed class. Uh, please remember to stretch, drink lots of water, and uh, try not to get too frustrated. You know, this time it's just about maintaining, making sure that you're um, stretching, moving, and uh, staying inspired. So read a book, play outside, go do something else um, that makes you feel happy. Have a wonderful day. Thanks again.